Hey guys, my name is Venki and today I'm just going to talk about one of the very important uh, starter project of Spring Boot, which is a Spring Actuator. So let's see what is the Spring Actuator is all about. So Spring Actuator is a sub project of the Spring Boot framework. It includes a uh, number of the additional feature to help monitor and manage the Spring Boot application. And it can, uh, contains the actuator endpoints, uh, the places where the resources lie. Okay, we uh, use the HTTP and JMX endpoint to manage the monitor the Spring Boot application. If we want to um, want to get the production ready features in an application, we should use the Spring Boot actuator. So uh, first of all, we must understand what is the need of actuator. So suppose that you have, uh, because in we are uh, living in a world of where the microservices are keep on running. So this is the M1 microservices, this is M2 micro and M3. And there are the multiple instances of it, uh, uh, let's say, <clears throat> keep on running. Okay. So, but how uh, people, will, people will know or your system will know your application is up and running and how healthy it is performing. So, to keep on track the health of your application, how it's performing the different on different parameters, uh, a, pack, a project has been created, which is named by the actuator. Wait, so actuator is basic responsibility to monitor your application. It's not like uh, if you somebody have observed in ICU or in a bed, there are a lot of uh, monitoring system has been enabled for that patient. So this is, uh, similar kind of uh, uh, monitoring system for your application where the things are being monitored and you can uh, know your status of your application on different given parameters. We'll be uh, seeing um, a different practical example uh, in this particular tutorial and let's uh, move to further slide. So there are the <clears throat> main three um, uh, 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 main thing, three features of uh, you can say of a Spring Boot. That's the first is the endpoint, second is the matrix, and third is the audit. Okay, uh, endpoint. If we talk about uh, the actuator endpoint, allows us to monitor, interact with the application. It just give you the feature to interaction with your application. A Spring Boot provides a number of built-in endpoints. It's come up with a a number of built in point what uh, like health info so you'll be get to know in uh, coming <coughs> tutorials okay we can also create our own endpoint if we require we can create our own point uh, we can also enable the enable and disable each endpoint individually so these are the flexibility configuration flexibility we have uh, most of the applications choose the http where id of the endpoint along with the prefix of the actuator is mapped to the URL. For example, health endpoint provides the basic health information of our application by default. So if you want to uh, understand what is the health of application, it's a bit the up or down stage. Um, so it's uh, <clears throat> given by this end particular endpoint. A uh, matrix um, is uh, on different parameter, parameters uh, where the even if you connect to the Prometheus, uh, if you want to uh, connect this application with the Prometheus, yes, you can do it. Uh, Prometheus and Grafana, you can do it. Uh, <clears throat> Spring Boot actuator provides the dimensional matrix by integration with the micrometers. Okay. The micrometers is integrated into the Spring Boot. It is instrumental library powering delivery of application metrics from the Spring. It provides the vendor neutral interface for, <coughs> for timer, gauge, counter, distribution summaries, and long task uh, uh, timer with a dimensional data model. So it's uh, giving you a kind of heap dump, um, memory, JVM, different kind of parameters that on that basis, you are able to judge your application, how it is good performing. And even this data could be injected in the Prometheus so that <clears throat> you can uh, watch uh, in a kind of, uh, uh, you can say uh, visually 
how your application has been performing okay um it's uh, if how your nodes are being performing what is the memory utilization how the garbage collection is working so in that uh, context yes you can do it so audit similarly uh, uh, in the spring boot provides a flexible audit framework that publishes the event to a uh, audit event repository it's automatically published the authentication event if the spring security is, is in execution so it's a, just uh, give you the reports of audit how many what are the breaches are being is any potential breach or they are not in the security systems okay so enabling uh, let's start how we are going to enable uh, the actuator um we can enable uh, actuator by injecting the dependency of uh, the Spring Boot Starter actuator. Okay, so this is the dependency, and all the relevant jar is being uh, downloaded uh, through uh, you can say Maven repository. Okay, so let's move to another one. So <clears throat> the following are the table describe the widely used endpoints. So we have a kind of actuator. These are the endpoints that will go uh, in the practical session that we will have in a few minutes. And then we'll uh, came to know, <clears throat> we'll, be, we'll be able to know that. So what's in the meaning in the real uh, scenarios. But let me go through one by one. It provides the hypermedia based uh, discovery page where uh, the other endpoint is required the spring heados uh, to be uh, on the class path. So this is the uh, actuator where you get all the relevant endpoint. Uh, audit event, it uh, exposes the audit uh, event information for the current application. Okay. Uh, auto config, it is used to display the auto configuration report showing um, all the uh, auto configuration candidates that are reason why they are uh, they they were or were not applied beans is you give the information related the beans or being has been initialized through the application context um, config props it is used to display um, a collect list of a at the rate configuration properties dump it is just give you if you at any particular point of time you want uh, what are the thread dump of your application you can get it from over here uh, env it's a um, uh, it is used to expose the properties uh, from springs configurable environments okay so if you want to get the environment flyway uh, shows any flyway database migration that uh, have been applied if any flyway is uh, any migration is are happening that's the way uh, health it is used to show the application health information uh, info is just arbitrary application information if you want to put any arbitrary information. Logger is used to uh, show uh, and modify the configuration of the loggers in the application. Liquibase is used to show uh, the Liquibase database uh, migration that uh, have been applied. So these are the <laughs> database migration is specific. And matrix is used to show uh, the matrix information for the up current application. Okay. Um, for the Spring MVC, there are the following additional endpoints if we are using the Spring MVC. So docs, it is used to display the documentation. If we have a uh, heap dump is uh, used to return the zzip compressed file uh, for the heap dump file. Um, Jolokia is used to expose the JMX bean over the HTTP and Jolokia is on the class path. Log file is used to return the con <coughs> content of the log file um prometheus this is i have talked about it is used to expose the matrix in the format can be scrapped by the prometheus server it is required the dependency of the micrometer registry prometheus okay so it's a kind of ui tool where you can <clears throat> so let's talk about some of the properties of the actuator okay so uh, Spring Boot enables the security uh, for all the actuator endpoint, okay? Uh, it uses form-based authentication that provides user ID and a randomly generated password. We can also access the restricted endpoint by customizing the basic auth security to the endpoint. We need to override this configuration, okay? So by default, this everything is not available. If you want to do it, we have to um, 
we have to enable some kind of uh, management securities. So management security enabled through management security role is equal to admin, basic enable, uh, username and password. That's uh, these are the things that we have to set it. Um, there are the uh, all the endpoints are not being exposed. Uh, so uh, if we want to do all of them, uh, these are the properties management endpoint dot web exposure includes all okay health so detail all and when we are doing endpoint web based path slash admin and these are the properties that we have to enable for all okay uh customization of the health point if you want to customize any health uh, uh health endpoint of the actuator of the spring boot um it can be done by through way uh, two ways First, check the status of the URL in the code that are working or not working. If the URL is uh, site is uh, being correct, then it will be so the error uh, of the status of the application is down and vice versa. Secondly, if you want to some add some configuration by ourselves uh, while hitting the URL, the health actuator on the postman show the specific data, which could be provided um, in the given code on the screen both of the customization program are linked uh, given below so let's uh, me directly move to um, that jump into the practical session so we have uh, already included uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's uh, we have already included uh, just to let me give the example through um, two applications let me close all of uh, <clears throat> all of this one okay and let me run this one so what we are trying to do um, my controller application so this is the demo application that i'm going to run and we have let's say we have two services logger services and two services let's hypothetically think of any two services and we have to make sure these application are up and running before giving the status of this application as a up and running so what we have to do we have to um uh, we have to first of all initiate as a component so that is available as a bean okay and uh, then uh, it has to implement the health indicator okay and which is going to override a method which is known as uh, health and it's returning nothing but a health object health is a with a builder design pattern is uh, just giving the status based on some condition that you have going to be calculated over here so if your health is up with details and dot build and health dot down with details so if uh, if uh, all of the applications are running uh, smoothly up and down so let me remove first few of the properties i'm just removing every property from over here and see how the ui will look like okay so let's run this particular application in the meantime i'm opening the chrome browser Ah, it's running. Uh, I believe uh, it's running at at nine zero nine zero. I have ran different application. Let me switch back to uh, the different regional one. So I have to demo actuator application. This one that I have to run it because okay so as we can see we have some endpoints and uh, the application that we are going to run it's uh, having the detail it's up right now so it's have a fewer detail let me uh, fail it let's uh, one of the application is down for which i'm returning a false and just i rerun this particular program and let's see how it <coughs> is it is giving the right status or not okay so <clears throat> 
So just let me refresh this particular application. The application status is down, okay? But I don't have a much detail. So for that, what I am going to do, I'm just re-enabling these endpoints, uh, management.endpoints.web.exposer.includes, star, I want everything. Uh, in the similarly, dot show details always and slash admin. And these are the some kind of info that I have added uh, for the applications, okay? And if you don't provide info, that would be going to be blank, okay? Let me remove this endpoint first of all. Let's see, okay. Uh, so if I am just going to refresh this thing, uh, first of all, I have believe I have to re-run uh, this particular application. <clears throat> so as we can see now uh, this is uh, coming as a more detailed version of it and if i go to um, let's say info see the what's the info is going to print it so whatever uh, the things as a static variable or you can say a static information um that you are giving it uh, uh, next time uh, that we, we are, will be doing the tutorial will show how we can generate the dynamic uh, uh, information contributor there is one interface uh, through that we can generate this information as a dynamic value but as of as this current point of time these are the coming as a static uh, variable okay okay now uh, i have talked about if any one of them is will be down it shows as a down suppose that uh, i'm just assuming um, another uh, thing that's uh, let's say um, we have a endpoint or uh, let's say google.com and uh, that's particularly is down that particular moment or it's up at that particular moment so uh, we are just trying to hit uh, at that particular location if it is the okay working fine service is down otherwise service is up and running okay so for that particular thing i would be uh, just running this particular application and will so uh, and this particular this time i am running this particular at 9090 so let me first hit at 9090 and when once we have enabled the management console, we will getting these kind of uh, these many kind of beans where we can see uh, how many beans, what kinds of bean has been generated, and we'll talk about the mappings. These are the mappings that has been configured for our project. Uh, the endpoints. Also, um, we'll talk about matrices. That's I have talked about. So these are the matrices would be uh, getting in. Okay, no, 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 no. I'll just uh, uh, go and uh, uh, check the health section. Okay, so if I go to health section and it's it's up and running, right? So let's me put some random website over here, which is I'm supposed to, that is not definitely is not going to be running. Let's me put some random and junk website and let me restart this particular application the uh, the key feature that i want to take you uh, we have to implement the health indicator interface and return the health object by using uh, the builder design pattern through all of the health object or health class we can do it through okay uh and see let's see what is the status of the our application this is particularly down so um in summary i just want to reiterate uh, uh, actuator is a, um, a starter project of uh, by provided by the spring boot uh, which uh, help us to monitor the health of our application and uh, how we are going to give the health specifically uh, we have to implement the health indicator, which basically return the health object. Okay, and uh, we uh, any number of uh, health indicators we can create in our Spring Boot application. Um, I believe, guys, you have enjoyed this particular video. 
please let me know if any feedback improvisation is required. I'm definitely committed to uh, improvement day by day. Thank you. Thanks for watching.